My name is David. I'm from the international collaboration team of Infocom Investments. So Infocom Investments, we are a subsidiary of IMDA Singapore, uh, Infocom Media Development Authority. We manage a fund size of 200 million USD as a private entity that look at VC investments. You see us as an investor looking at Series A investments with a ticket size of about 1 to 5 million. Uh, at the same time, because uh, we take care of the growing of the startup ecosystem. We do things like Bash. Bash to us is a project that started because when we first came to the launchpad in Singapore, we felt that a couple of years ago, most of the startups were stuck in their own offices. There wasn't an open space for people to come around, to mingle, to interact. If you are an investor at a point of time, you have to go into different offices of startups to meet one another. There wasn't just a common meeting place. So we envisioned a space in Launchpad itself where it was open, it was free. Uh, startups can come in, uh, VCs can come in, corporates can come in, the government people can come in. And through that, we hope to build a community that actually supports the entire process of entrepreneurship and, and innovation. Uh, we have about at any one time 50 startup space here through our acceleration program. Uh, it's divided into different segments to have different purposes for these startups. There are two levels. One is what Bash itself offers. The other level is what the accelerator themselves offer. The FinLab is a 50-50 joint venture between UOB Bank and Infocom Investments here. Um, the mandate obviously is in the fintech yeah. and uh, that's what we're doing. Um, we have currently nine fintech startups in our program uh, that started in May. They should finish by end of July. Had more than 300 applications. Yeah, crazy, yeah. right? Um, from places as far as Uganda, from places as far as New York City, from the Ukraine and stuff like that. So the business model will tell us very, very strongly about who their customers are, um, what the pain points are, so I, they, they can then identify what their value proposition would be to these customers. And of course, the bigger the pain, the more the customers will be willing to pay to have that pain taken away. So that's the business model. When we help them to make sure that we get that done very well over the first few weeks so that we understand and they understand who they should be running after. Next bit, we help them to do what we call the product market fit. So you can build a very, very good product, but if it's not what the market wants, it is useless. So you need to go to market, you need to talk to potential clients, you need to then see how you can adapt what your original thinking to what the client wants. So where the attraction is, is that when you come into the FinLabs program and with you will be bank as one of our shareholders, then obviously, you know, if they really like what they see, then you have a very, very good opportunity of having them as your first client. As you know, in the banking field, if you need to sell to a bank, the sales cycle is easily 18 months to 24 months. So as a startup, it's a lifetime, right? So if you are able to shortcut that to within three to six months and you're able to get your first banking client, it's actually very, very good. So this was the key selling proposition and it remains the key selling proposition for the Fin Lab. And on our, on our hand, we, we manage a pool of mentors that have different domain expertise as long as we have the connections. Or even if we don't, we can easily reach out to these contacts, this, this pool of people for it. And by having an open space where all accelerators are based here, we kind of create different kind of synergies. On one hand, competition between the accelerators and the startup. But on the other hand, a lot of sharing of resources, a lot of collaboration.
uh, we work with partners overseas, uh, such that we can send our startups there, they can send their startups here, at no cost. I think that's the most important point. So for example, we just completed a batch in 2016 where we have startups coming in from Taiwan, Sri Lanka and India. It's a one month curriculum program. So they are, in this program, they are being met with, matched with mentors, they are being matched with body startups. Uh, they are based at Bash, they can use the co-working space, uh, they get access to the, the mentor pools that we have. Uh, the end of the program, we end with a demo day, which then we in, it invite investors, people from the community to come in for the startups to pitch and to illustrate what they have done in the last, last one month. To answer your question, yes, we did some understanding of what's being done and we improvise it to make it something that's uniquely Singapore to see whether it actually works for our own entrepreneurship and our, our, our own entrepreneurs and our own ec ecosystems. You never know what's happening at the other corner of the world. But I, uh, I don't think I've been to a space like Bash at this point of time yet. Yeah. Yep.